Hi everyone, my name is Hina Vinayak, Senior Solutions Architect at Amazon Selling Partner API team. We've got some exciting news for you today. Starting October 2nd, there's been a significant change to SP API. We have simplified things. The use of AWS Identity and Access Management or AWS Signature version 4 will no longer be a requirement. This means that you will need to register for AWS IAM resources or sign SP API request with AWS Signature version 4. Security and efficiency of our platform remains a priority. SP API will continue to rely on login with Amazon or LWA access tokens for each request. For those not familiar, LWA is based on widely adopted OAuth 2.0, ensuring user-authorized exchanges across sites. This change applies to all regions. Here's the best part. No immediate action is required on your end. Everything's been integrated into our production environment. If you've been using the AWS Signature version 4, we'll simply disregard the signature and proceed with LWA authorization. For our MWS developers actively transitioning to SP API, there are a few pointers to keep in mind, which we'll detail in the description below. But to summarize, if you are in the middle of the transition, it's your choice whether to continue signing SP API requests with AWS Signature version 4 or not. For those using our SDKs, we have more great news. Version 2.0 of the Java and C Sharp SDK is now available. These new versions save request signing time and also come with features that make your life easier, like the custom LWA exception, giving you more detailed insights on errors during LWA authorization. While no immediate action is needed, we do highly recommend transitioning to these updated SDKs. I'd say heads up, SDK version one for both Java and C Sharp will be deprecated by end of 2023. We understand this is a lot to take in, so we have provided comprehensive resources and guides on connecting to SP API using SDKs. Check out the links in the description below. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to our Selling Partner API developer support team through our contact us form. That's all for now. Thank you for being a part of our developer community. Stay tuned for more updates and happy coding.